Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about uh, how to overload template functions. Means how to overload generic functions. In last sessions, we are discussing what is a template, what is a generic function or function template, and how to pass the arrays to the templates, and how to use different types of data types for template functions. Now, in this session, I am going to discuss how to overload function template or generic function. That means, okay, in C++ we know that C++ supports the concept of what function overloading. It is what? It is the mechanism of defining, defining several functions with the same name by changing number of arguments, order of arguments and data types. Okay. In the same manner, we can overload a function template or generic function also. Now, I am going to show you how to overload a generic function or function template. Okay. Now, I want to create several template functions with the same name by passing different data types or different number of arguments. Now, how it is possible? I am going to explain with one example. Just watch it. Okay, as usual, first common header files. Now we are going to draw. Okay, first common header files. Okay, now it is the common header file in C++. Hash include iostream.h. Next, and common one conio.h. Okay, now we are having two header files one is iostream.h and second one is the conio.h how to overload a template function okay now watch it i am going to show you how to overload the function template or generic function first of all we should have to start a template with the, the keyword template okay now template is the keyword now your compiler understands we are going to start a template here next template rule is what angular brackets later we should have to start the class keyword okay next we should have to provide some name for the class which is also called placeholder now we are providing the name t now the t type is depended on the parameters we are passing from the main function to this function for example we are sending integer values now t also converted into integer suppose floats t converted into float double double that means for several types only one type that's why it is called generic now later i am going to start the function suppose any function the function is what it may be it should have a return value now this function return value is depended on user sending parameters that's why return value i am going to give once again t because of suppose the user is sending integer values now the return value also integer floats return value also float double float and means return value also double that means what the return value depended on the user that's why here t type is the return type because of it is depended on class type next t type function name is what suppose sum t space sum next now sum is a function no? and actually you know that generics are also called what parameterized types because of every template should have to receive some parameters every template should have to receive some parameters or argument that is why they are also called parameterized types now how many parameters i want to receive two parameters i want to receive in this example now then t space a comma t space b now what happened a b or what arguments or parameters received from the main function and now a and b are depended on what t type suppose t is integer a and b also becomes integer floats floats next now what it want to perform addition of this a and b then directly write down return a plus b now the program finish 
okay. Now template class t, t sum of t a comma b, a and b are dependent on t type, suppose integers, answer also integer that is going to return. Next, now I have used only one template function, but actually our topic is what overloading generic function or function template. Then overloading means what defining more than one function by using the same name. Okay. That is why I want to define another function with the same name by using template concept. That is why template once again class t this time also t answer sum now t a t b and t c. Just watch the difference here you are having two arguments a and b only means here we are passing only two parameters to the sum function, but here in this example we are sending three parameters to the sum function okay. and here observe it function name is same, but one is having two arguments, one is having three arguments and here we are using the template. Now okay, declaring several functions with the same name by changing number of arguments which is nothing but uh, overloading and we are overloading what uh, template function means generic function or function template that is why it is called overloading function template or generic function. Next now return a plus b plus c now it is going to return the a plus b plus c value and it is going to return the 2. Next, how to activate this function means how to call it. when calling is required we should have to go for what main function that is why I am going to start here main function. Now it is the main function y domain later I want to send two integer type values for this one see this clearly I am going to write like this CLR is here first of all C out, I want to perform 2 integer sum, then 2 integer sum means this function, no? now watch it sum of 10 comma 20 and end L. And now watch it, when this function is called how many parameters you are sending, 2 parameters. Now the compiler searches for matching function definition, actually here you are using 2 parameters. That is why matching means this one no matched. Now 10 pass root to A, 20 pass root to B, return 10 plus 20 answer 30. 30 is going to pass to C out. C out purpose is what? Printing the answer. That is why answer is 2 integer sum equal to 30. Next watch it. C out 2 floats sum equal to this time I am going to use like this sum of 1.1. 2.2 end L. Now what happened? You are sending two floating values to the function, but how many? Two. Now once again, it is matched with the two arguments. That's why this one is binding with this function. A value becomes 1.1, B value becomes 2.2. Answer 3.3 is going to return. It is printed by C out. Next watch it. C out. This time, three floats sum, I want to send 3 floats equal to sum of 1.1, 2.2, 3.3 and end L. Now watch it, here whenever you are sending these 2 arguments, it is matched with the 2 arguments function, but here this time you are sending 3 arguments. Now it is going to first check it out, 2 arguments, but here 3 arguments. Okay, not matched. Now it goes to second one. Here also three arguments, and you are sending three arguments. Both are matched. Now this function binding or linked with the, this function and written a plus b plus c. Answer 1.1 plus 2.2 plus 3.3. 6.6 is going to print by the c out. Next c out three integer sum. Now directly sum of 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now 
it is going to link with uh, this function ok. Because of here how many arguments are there? 3 arguments 1, 2, 3 once again matched with this one A value becomes 1, B value becomes 2, C value 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 answer 6 is going to return to C out, C out 3 integer sum equal to 6. Now get C H or program completed. Now watch this in this example how many functions I have declared 2 functions and both are having the same name, but I have used with the template concept that is why it is called overloading function template or overloading generic functions. Thank you, thank you for watching.